did anybody teach you to to to, to think like that and count rounds and and, and and like that in the ring, or is that just something that you developed, like you know, as you you know as as, as a pro? I mean, it's you know, I want I want to know, yeah. I want to know, so yeah. I do it. I'm a well, judge. I, mean, I, I mean, judge just, myself. Like, there was a, the, I like judge the, myself. Yeah, but the 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 because I I do the same thing, but the way you strategically. Say you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna win this round. I'm not I'm not gonna lose this round on purpose, but I'm gonna make sure I win this round. And then next round I'm gonna I'm gonna see the way it goes. I'm gonna win this round, and then I'm gonna see the way it goes the next round. Like I I've never had that type of strategy in my mind. In retrospect, it sounds borderline amazing that for you to to think like that and to to be able to say hey, as long as I win round one, and then I win win round three and four, and then from that point on, I'm just going to, you know, take this fight as it goes, opposed to forcing anything or, you know, feeling like I'm losing and I got to do more. It's like you kept yourself right in the pocket where you needed to be. And I just think that that's really strategical. And that's a part of the game. You know, we talk about the game is check is chess, not checkers. That's a part of the game that a lot of people don't know. So, like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out from you, like, did somebody teach you to 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 fight like that and to have that type of mindset through fights or is that something that you developed and was it something you developed specifically for the fight against me that fight strategy was just for you i did a different one against diego chavez like i wanted to i wanted to knock out diego chavez in four rounds right mm -hmm. so i knew like diego chavez was the for, the first fight that if you watch keith thurman you're going to see a certain type of fight yeah and then you're going to see a, a shift right? yeah you're going to see yeah. a shift yeah well that shift was already calculated in my game plan mm. right because because mm. if i don't have them out in four rounds i got to make a shift mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and i was like yo he he was 22 and 0 with 18 knockouts i was 20 and 0 with 18 knockouts Mm -hmm. I told everybody, if I don't knock them out in four rounds, come see me after the fight. I'll give you your money back. <laughs> I was talking, I was talking all that one time Thurman talk, right? So, <laughs> so after, after, after I won that fight with a very interesting, um, methodical approach to that fight, that's what made me realize that was that a shift for you. That it's great, it's great to have some kind of insight to your your overall approach to the fight of course mm -hmm. anything can happen mm -hmm. but it's great mm -hmm. to have that insight to my overall approach so i gave him four hard rounds and he showed me that they breed them tough in argentina he, right. he showed me that you right. know and i right. said okay cool i'm gonna take a step back and I'm going to say, welcome to America. I'm about to box your ass. Out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to do something different to you. Yeah, and he did. once when mm -hmm. I changed, and once when I changed the tempo on him, mm -hmm. he didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. He thought like he, he, I slowed down. He slowed down. Mm -hmm. Now see, if I slow down, you don't slow down. Right. Mm -mm. Cause, cause you, you different. Mm -hmm. But with him, when I slowed down and he slowed down, he made me realize I'm the conductor. Right. That's all you want to do. We lose you. Yep. Somebody hey, keeps trying the to knock out in that fight too. Oh, okay. Yeah, some somebody trying to, yeah. And and the knockout I, I was thought, always I thought oh, 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 oh. go ahead. Oh, hold up. Oh, <laughs> boom, I'm back. So the knockout was always on my mind, right? And I was thinking once once when I was able to, to box him. I was like, okay, this is better. And I felt like I was winning some rounds and I was like, okay, this is a lot better. I like what I'm doing. Then I saw his gas tank was having a problem. And I was like, yo, we need to hit this dude with a body shot. <laughs> and it didn't happen when I saw it. It happened like the round after that, which ended up being the ninth round. Got him with the, with the body shot, boom, right into the solar plex. And then he survived that round. And then I took him out early in the 10th. You know, mm -hmm. and um, and it was a great fight, mm -hmm. but it was a great strategy I had going into the fight with the proper training leading up to the fight. Yeah. So that was my real that was my real first fundamental understanding that I can approach these big fights like this. Mm -hmm. And so I had mm -hmm. my own 
approach to you, mm-hmm. but then you messed up my game plan. Mm-hmm. Then I just had to buckle down mm-hmm. and, and do the thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, you, you know, fuck, do the thing, yeah. you know, and, it, yeah. and, that, and that's what you do. You, you make, you, you bring that out of fighters. You, mm-hmm. you do that because mm-hmm. either they do the thing or they don't do the thing. And then you get to do this again and mm-hmm. be like, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do right. it again. Let's All do right. it. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.